Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ROTG Clutch here, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys my first Black Ops 2 commentary and gameplay. All right, I'm sorry I didn't upload um the past two days. Um, not that I've been lazy, but that's part of it. But I've also been playing the game a lot. And um, so I went to midnight release the first day. Got the game, came home. It was really neat. Um, there's like pimped out cars here with like LEDs and like TVs, TVs in the back with like subs and all these crazy things. And then uh, we actually met a few people there, um, talked to them, and uh, got the game, got out of there, and then ran to my dad's car, and we almost got hit by a car, like two cars, we almost got hit two times, me max. So we almost died trying to get this game, right? That's how much I wanted this game. I almost died. And then so, um, yeah, so today I'll be telling you guys, like, my first, my first uh, review of this game, which I played probably um, total three or four hours, um... I can play some zombies too. I'll have that up later. But anyways, for multiplayer, in my opinion, um, great game. Uh, first thing I was told was uh, put on the Scorpion, really good gun. And uh, yes, it is. It's a very great gun. Um, it shoots really fast. It's got a big, uh, big round clip. It's the gun I'm using right now. 40 shot, 42 shot clip. Pretty weird number, but uh, it's really good. All right, it shoots really fast. It's pretty accurate. And uh, that's like most of the submachine guns on the game. And I only have. Uh, I think three or four submachine guns un unlocked, and uh, for me, they're all pretty accurate, all have pretty good range, um, but then uh, the the damage is probably not the best when it comes to like the vector or uh, some guns like that. Like, like if you're on a long range map, use an assault rifle. But if you're not, then uh, put on an SMG for the closer, closer uh, short range maps. So, anyways, I'm I'm pistol whipping some guys here. And so uh, that's what I'm doing this game. So this is my first game, actually. I was so excited um, at the Black Ops 2 thing. I actually, had people playing on this map, so I'm like, wow, who would it be cool if I got this map first? And uh, actually, this is my favorite map um, uh, as the game goes right now. This is a great map. If you have a good team, um, you will succeed in this map. Take two bases, your main base, you start at, and then uh, B, and you will be successful. And so. That's what you gotta do here, and they spawn each side of the uh, each side of you. Um, teamwork is key in this game, and I mean key, because uh, I played last night uh, by myself, and um, it makes a difference whether you do good or not. Because if you're facing a team and you're with a group of randoms, then not good. So play with a team; it's very well recommended. Um, really, it feels like all the like. Look at this! I got I got a dragonfly. How sweet is this thing? I don't know. I don't even know how to use it, but it's sweet. Anyways, um, yeah, back to the kill streaks. Um. I feel like all the kill streaks are kind of like support kill streaks, but they can kill because there's UAVs, counter UAVs, EMPs, and uh, all these things that help out your team. But uh, they're also called score streaks, and this is a very team-based game. So I guess you got to help out your team as uh, much as you can right here, and uh, do as much as you can. And also, you saw me go to the menu. Um, there's also 14. The top sensitivity is 14 instead of the regular 10 on all the other all, all the other Call of Duties. So that's another change in the game. And then also, you guys will know I'm building a PC pretty soon here. And they'll be playing on that, making that my main platform. And uh, they actually lowered the field view down to 85 or 80. And But uh, on their PC list that they're going to upgrade, it's going to be 90. So we'll look forward to that. So it looks pretty sweet. This game looks good. The graphics are really good. Um, the game plays smooth. It's no glitchy or laggy or anything. The only problem I had on this game was that uh, the servers were actually offline for like an hour, so I was like, I was panicking, um, didn't know what to do, so they upgraded that, um, I think they upgraded some things about the game modes, now that like, it was, uh, that Cook Confirmed was like 85, and now it's at 100, so they updated that, um, but otherwise, great game, and uh, for all these YouTube people trying to get these big old kill streaks, uh, you need time length in the game. And uh, I'm gonna quit playing domination because, uh, as you guys see here, is there's actually a time break where it uh, stops the game, and they you switch sides, and uh, it's like a round. It's in two rounds, which is really weird. And uh, I don't really like that part of it, but I don't know why they did that. Um, changes it up a little bit. It's probably for uh, competitive play mostly, because this game is uh, I think directed towards competitive play. And uh, there's also league play, which I haven't gotten to that. Zombies campaign. I don't play campaign until uh, like two months in the game, but uh, that's about it. Zombies, I love zombies. I'll be posting zombies. Um, 
so far pretty fun. I played Newtown, I played the Transit. Um, it seems pretty sweet, but once you get the hang of it, it uh, might get boring, Transit mode. But there's also survival on all those maps, so I think it'll keep fresh and keep good. And once all the DLC comes out, it'll be great. And uh, yeah, this game's really enjoyable uh, for right now. And uh, I usually have a full party I'm playing with. It uh, it makes the game a lot more exciting, a lot better. My goal in this game is not really have the best KD, but to have a great win streak. All right, because I want to play, um, have a great win streak as I can. Play with the team. So if you guys want to play with me, just send me an invite and. Uh, there you go, uh, round switch. Yeah, send me an invite and um, I'll pick you up usually, or uh, we'll wait till the game's over and then I'll pick you up. So uh, that's about it for the game, otherwise, but uh, I'm going to talk about all the guns now. All the uh, score streaks, classes, or I've already talked about score streaks, but I'll talk about the classes and uh, how that works. So, anyways, it's kind of a weird deal here. Um, you have five classes to begin with, obviously, and then all your default stuff, and then. Uh, so you get your SMGs, your slow rifles. There's they brought back the right shield. There's ballistic knives, um, a crossbow that looks really sweet. Haven't tried it out yet. Um, your lethal perks, and then your secondary grenades, primary grenades, and then um, attachments on your weapons. So anyways, uh, guns are really uh, balanced. It seems like actually, and uh, the slow rifles they're pretty all pretty accurate. I don't have the, uh, a lot of recoil. There's actually a gun that shoots uh, like four bursts at one time, which is pretty weird. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that gun. I like my guns full auto, ready to go. Um, so, anyways, there's some really good assault rifles on this game. Um, I've really been digging the, uh, uh, the the dual mags or the fast mags because, as you guys know, there's no sled hand on the game, so it's not a perk. But there's a, a thing called like fast hands and fast mags. I guess fast hands is a perk. But I don't know what it does for sure yet. I don't know all the specs of all the perks and everything. But I usually, on my wild card, there's like three wild card setups, right? So usually I have like two uh, primary, two primary perks, the first slot, and then two secondary. I usually run like a, uh, I run usually scavenger. Once I get scavenger, I'll put that on ghost, which I think ghost will be a big uh, perk in this game because all the support UAVs going out. And all the teamwork, so that'll be uh, big. I think I'm running like toughness and hardline or something um, as of now. But then I got uh, fast mags on there, and then um, I want to say cold blooded, but I'm not sure. I don't think cold blooded, but anyways. So yeah, perks are really good. I don't think any of them are really overpowered in my opinion. There's no assassin pro, which is great. And um, ghost and cold blooded only work if you're moving around, so they don't work if you're camping in a corner. So. Recommended, don't camp in any corners, alright? So anyways, that's done. Um, yeah, the classes are pretty sweet. So you can, like, so you can actually take out your grenades or take out your lethal to add more perks if you want, or more attachments or on your guns or something. You can put, like, overkill on, so uh, two primary weapons. And um, you can do some really creative things with the classes, unlimited possibilities with all the classes, all the... There's a ton more... Um, things you can put on your gun now lots more cool uh, sights and everything but uh, I don't care about the sights I like I'll use the red dot one to get that and then I iron sight works for me yeah put fast mags on there um yeah pretty much that's it but uh, fast fast mags works for me and iron sights work for me great so and I think I'll be getting into extended mags too since there's no quick reload I think that'll be a big key um, extended mags and uh, I think that'll really help to it your advantage. But uh, right now in this game, I'm just trying to find what guns are good. Um, trying out all the weapons. That you saw the MP7 right there before. It's uh, pretty good. I don't know if there's much difference between the uh, MW3 version, although the sights look different. But uh, comparison, the, they're really good guns, um, and I think that'll be uh, one of the main uh, primary SMGs. But uh, Otherwise, they're like this MC SMS, which is really good, I thought. And then um, the Scorpion, Scorpion Evo or Evox, or I don't know what it's called. The gun I first started playing out with, that gun is really good. It'll probably be my favorite gun of the game. Because I played in uh, versus those bots in what's it called mode? I don't know, Newtown 2025. Played that, and uh, that was my gun of choice, and that was really fun. And then snipers, it's like COD 4 sniping. So. If you guys don't remember what COD 4 sniping is, it's really great. Um, it's not overpowered and not too easy, but it's uh, a lot of fun. And I just thought Black Ops 2 sniping was a little, uh, 
I don't know, it, it was alright, but it wasn't my favorite, alright? So when you're sniping this game is really good. Ballista, you can put an iron sight on it. So bringing back like the iron sights from World at War, which is a really cool idea, I think. I'm actually going to use the iron sight once I get it and uh, use it as like kind of an assault rifle. But uh, that's my plans for the snipers. Shotguns are really good. I haven't used much shotguns at all, but uh, I've heard they're really good. i played with them a tiny bit, and they seem pretty good. You just got to play in a different... Uh, Playing a different mindset when you're uh, doing running the shotguns or snipers. Those are pretty good pistols. I don't care or secondaries. I don't care. I I use nothing as my secondary because you have the choice to put like two primaries uh, run overkill, or you can just uh, replace your uh, secondary gun with a uh, with a perk. So that's that's what I did. So I mean, I don't use my secondary that much. I mean, MW3 machine pistols uh, worked great and. Uh, that was good on that game, but otherwise this was really good. The game's great. Um, I'll be showing you guys more content pretty soon, and this commentary is wrapping up. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you later.